Oh, I love Harry Potter. Now, a lot of you have wondered what life is like for real kids who live away from home. Well, I went to meet one Blue Peter viewer who does just that. My name's Kim. I'm 12 years old and I spend most of the year away from my parents at boarding school. Wow, Kim, this entrance hall is pretty impressive, isn't it? What did you think the first time you came in? It's a lot different from my old school, because my old school was quite modernised and it's such a big school, so you're sort of a bit shocked when you get here. What should we do now? Uh, probably go to assembly. OK, cool, let's go. Come on, everybody, so this is the Great Hall and this is where we have our assemblies. <gasps> this is amazing, this room. Adkit's quite a lot like Hogwarts, but we don't have the floating candles, we don't have Dumbledore or anything, but we do have a very cool headmistress. And how many people are here? Um, there's only about 103 people in this whole school. Compared to my old school, it's really, really grand. Like um, in my old school, plastic floors and really, really low ceilings. This one has wooden beams and arches. And the chandelier you would not find in my old school. <laughs> This is our stuffed owl. This is too much like Harry Potter now. Is that Harry Potter's owl? Well, Harry Potter's owl is technically white, so I would say more like Draco Malfoy's. <laughs> How long have you been boarding for? Nearly three years. That's quite a long time. Can you remember your first night? Yeah, it was a bit scary and lonely because you didn't know anyone in your dorm and you couldn't just run across the corridor and tell your parents. Oh, no, Mum and Dad. Did you cry? Um, not really. I was really upset, though. And that's where I slept on my first night. OK, so you shared with three other people. That's yeah. quite a lot, isn't it? Were yeah. you used to sharing a room? Um, no, because my brother has his own room and likes to spread his boy stuff around. So what was it like when you were all in here on the first night? Well, it was a bit like a big sleepover, <laughs> apart from for a few weeks and not one night. What time did lights go out? Uh, half eight. But now that I'm year, in year eight, I share with only one other person and my bedtime's about ten o'clock. Oh, OK, so it changes. Yeah. Let's have a look at your room okay. now, yeah. So this is my room. Abby and I try to make it as adventurous as we can. Yeah, I can see things you're into. I can see you've got lots of posters and your rollerblades yeah. and your violin. And So where do your family live? And they live in Germany. In Germany? So yeah. you speak German? Yeah, my mum's German. How do you feel? Your brother's at home and you're here. Oh, I sort of get a bit jealous of the fact that he gets to talk to mum every night. I get to speak to her about once a week whenever she phones and if it's something special then about twice a week. And then... My dad at the moment is in Poland. Um, he goes to various countries to, um, for work. He flies helicopters in the army. He's been to Iraq twice this year. And how was that for you? Uh, it was a bit scary because you'd heard all these stories about people getting killed and you're not there to hear the news if he has and I have to wait about three weeks at a time until I can hear from him. So do you watch the news a lot just to find out what's yeah, happening? Yeah, and I look on the internet as well and sort of look up Iraq and what's happening at that precise moment. Now I'm going to ask you about your matron. What is she and what does she do? She's like a mummy figure. She wakes us up, tells us to go to bed and keeps order in the boarding house. This is an all-girls school, that's right, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Tell me, have you got a boyfriend? No. Do you miss not having boys around? Um, not really. It's a lot easier to study with no boys around. So this is our pet corner. You're allowed to have pets? Yeah. Cool. This is school guinea pigs. Oh. And this is mine and Abby's hamster. What's it called? At Snowdrop. He's quite hairy, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> this is our common room. We watch TV, DVDs and videos, and we play board games and activity games. I like it. I like it. One of the things I like about Adcote is the small classes. There's only about 13 in my class, and um, the teachers can get around to help you quicker they don't spend their time telling people off. Is there anything you don't like about boarding school? The only thing that I really don't like is sort of missing your mum, but you have to get used to that after a while. <laughs> Kim, I want to say a massive thank you for showing me around your school. I've loved it. It's been a great day. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. I want to give you something very special. This is your very own Blue Peter badge. Thank you very much. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> Night,
Kim. Night, Abby. Oh, when the lights go out, I'm sure there's mischief. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lovely school, though, but more like a home, actually, than the school, I thought. Oh, that's nice.